One of my most favorite DIYs yet are these bubble wedges. I absolutely am obsessed with these. Not only are they simple, cheap, and easy and fast, all these sweet books are now art. I love how my daughter gets to see the faces of the books and be able to grab what she wants and be able to have fun reading it. Definitely my favorite part of this entire room. If you're like me and you want to display your books or your art or some pictures in a fun way, keep on watching for the tutorial ahead. Supplies for this project will include paint, optional top coat, fine grit sandpaper, wood glue, wood putty, clamps, and a nail gun or a drill with either wood screws or nails. We're also going to need six one by four inch pieces as well as three one by two inches pieces of pine wood, all cut perfectly to the length that you want your book ledges, which I had Home Depot cut for me. So now that we have this side glued and this side glued, we're gonna pop them up stick them next to this guy. I want to line them up perfectly. I want to put some clamps right here. When you clamp the boards together, make sure that the boards stay flush because they may wiggle a little as you're clamping. When you nail or screw the boards together, make sure that you do it from the outsides inwards, adding extra screws and nails on the back tall side because that will be the side that gets screwed into the wall and it will need some extra support. Just so you can get the whole idea, this is the start to finish of one booklet. go, three book ledges. Sand lightly just to smooth things out, preparing it for the wood putty. Add wood putty to all the cracks and crevices just to make it look nice and smooth. Then sand again, and you'll see in this photo, this is before the wood putty, this is with the chunky wood putty, and this is all sanded and ready to paint. Now paint two to three coats to make it a nice smooth finish. Make sure the paint dries over 24 hours just so it doesn't get smudged as you're installing it. To help me visualize how I wanted the bookshelves to look, I took a picture and I drew on top of it. This helped me figure out the length I wanted it and how many I wanted. Then I taped exactly where I wanted it to go and I had my husband help me find the studs and I marked them on the tape as well as where on the book ledges we are going to pre-drill a hole. We marked off the, where the nails are going to go, the screws I mean, into the Studs. And then we just lay the, the shelf above it so it's easy just to line it up and keep it level. Then we drilled them into the wall where we had marked the studs. <laughs> just a couple extra holes here and there, not a big deal. Here are the screws that I filled in with some putty. And after you've done that, you just cover it over with some white paint to do another coat, but that's about it. And that's it. It was super simple, easy, fast, cheap, and I hope that you guys are inspired to do this as well. Please subscribe to see any more DIYs I do down the road, and leave any comments if you have any suggestions. Thanks.